YouTube. This is 1977 Baby. Um, my real name is Crystal. And I know I have, you know, did a few videos. Um, I'm subscribed to a lot of you. And um, I view your videos. But um, I had a request to know more about me. Well, I'm 32. I'll be 33. November 28th. Yay. Happy birthday to me. Getting old. Huh. Um, well, I'm going to tell you about a problem I have. I was diagnosed with endometriosis when I was 15 years old. For those who don't know what endometriosis is, is where the lining of your uterus grows like in on your ovaries, fallopian tubes, bowels. In some cases, you know, it has been found in people's lungs and in real rare occasions, um, the brain. And you know, it's normal tissue is nothing that normal so it's nothing like cancer but when it's in those places it acts just like you know tissue you know the uterus tissue so when you bleed monthly wherever that tissue has implanted it bleeds just like your menstrual causing scarring and that's where the pain comes in with all the scarring and the implants that the endometriosis make and it's a very painful disease it's different from every for everyone with me it has got me to a state where I didn't have you know several surgeries um, for it treat you know been on almost every treatment for it but um it got me to the place where I have debilitating pain almost every day. Um, sometimes I have to be bedridden from the pain. I know some people like, wow, with endometriosis, yes. Due to the fact that I had all those surgeries, I got a massive amount of scar tissue. And with scar tissue, it's hard to remove because it's your body natural way of healing itself so my body you know every time it's removed it grows right back because it's healing itself but adhesions are very very painful you can look it up I'm not a doctor or anything but I know what I've experienced with it um, I also, you know, have other problems that have came along with the endometriosis, um, cysts, fibroids, things of that nature, and that also cause pain. Um, some people have success, you know, with birth control pills, having children, which is a difficult thing for someone with endometriosis to have is children but some people are blessed to have them and it helps you know with the endometriosis so it's a, it's a really tricky disease there's no cure um, some women have hysterectomies and they're fine right now I haven't gotten to the point where I'm gonna have a hysterectomy because it might not be helpful due to the fact that I have other issues with the scarring and um, I have a bile disease, ulcerative colitis. So all that comes into play with my pain. So it's hard to say whether a hysterectomy would be beneficial, beneficial to me. Um, besides me being sick, you know, I try to make the best out of life there is. Um, I like, you know, going on a computer, you know, to entertain myself, YouTube, 
Facebook. Um, I love fashion. I love to see, you know, what's going on with fashion. I love hair, um, nails. I um, have watched YouTube videos and seen people do nail art. And I've attempted to do a couple nail art videos, you know, showing what I've learned. But I never went to school for it, so they're not perfect. And I'm pretty sure some people that went to school for it, their nail's not perfect either. But I enjoy doing it. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things about myself. Um, I had wrote something down, but I didn't want to look at the paper. Well, I guess that's about it. If anybody have any questions, you know, I'll be glad to answer them. But um, the endometriosis, all I can say, um, the thing is, when women hurt from their period and it gets to the point where the pain is unbearable, or some people don't even have any symptoms, they don't, have, you know, know they have the endometriosis until they try to conceive or see children or something like that. They find out through surgery. But some young ladies like myself, I was 15, like I said, and I was just having horrible pains with my period. Um, you know, they tried things like birth control pills, and it was for my sister find out that she had it that's when they decided to do surgery on me to find out did I have it and I did and I have a very very bad case my sister she's lucky hers is not as severe as mine um if you know other people theirs might not be severe but like I said it's like with any other disease it's different degrees and um is what it is. I'm one of those unlucky ones that have a lot of pain. I have good days, but you know, I have to take it easy. Like when I go places, um, I can't overdo it because you know, my, the pain just show up anytime. It doesn't, you know, say, Hey, I'm coming to visit you today. It'll just hit you all at once. And, um, it's just something to deal with. You never know what people go through um, in life. So when you meet someone, don't judge them. You never know what's going on with them. Well, with all that being said, I'm not going to bore y'all to death. And if you made it through this whole thing, thank you for listening. And hopefully I can do some more nail videos. Maybe hair. Um, I'm not a hairdresser or anything, but like I said, I love hair, I love wigs, um, weaves, um, all that good stuff. But anyway, God bless you and thank you for viewing this. Bye-bye.